In this video, we are going to look at uh, mensuration chapter, especially we look at uh, sphere. Mensuration is a very difficult chapter for many of the students, but the, this is not really, you uh, shouldn't be, because the, one of the major key thing in handling mensuration is imagination. If one can imagine the problem, it becomes very easy, but if the, if the uh, children are not able to imagine, then it becomes uh, difficult. Uh, we will see uh, other important point in terms of mensuration is remembering the formula. We need to remember the formula well. If you are able to remember the formula, then the problems will become very easy. Imagination and memorizing the formula, these are the two key things to handle the mensuration chapter very easily in uh, ICSE board exam. Let's look at the sphere today. We will look at only theory and the problems we will uh, deal in a separate uh, uh, video. In all these geometrical figures, we need to know two things. One is the volume of the sphere, the another one is the surface area of the sphere. If we know volume and surface area of the two geometrical figures, then that will be sufficient uh, for handling all the problems. Volume of the sphere is 4 third pi r cube. There is no funda here, we just have to uh, memorize the formula and just remember it. If you want to relate one formula with the other, you can remember volume of the sphere is equal to 4 third pi r cube, whereas volume of the uh, uh, other figures are uh, uh, like pi r square h is for the cylinder. But one important thing that you can note about the sphere is Sphere is such a kind of uh, geometrical figure where if we know only one parameter that is r, we can calculate either volume or surface area or any other thing that is related to the sphere. It is like a key. If we know r, that means we can unlock anything and everything about the sphere. Surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square. This is also we need to just uh, memorize it. It is like uh, 4 pi r square is what we need to remember. Volume of the sphere is equal to 4 third pi r cube and surface area of the sphere is equal to 4 pi r square. There is nothing much to know about these things, but just memorize these two facts. Then hollow sphere. What is a hollow sphere? Hollow sphere is nothing but you take one full sphere and then inside uh, you scoop a small sphere out of that big sphere. Then whatever that is remaining, it is a hollow sphere. So for some examples that we have from practical life are coconut shell is like a hollow sphere okay, and also egg shell is also like a hollow sphere. In hollow sphere, uh, unlike the solid sphere, we have two radii. One is called capital R, another one is called small r. Capital R is equal to external radius. That means the distance from the center to the outermost surface is capital R that is external radius and then distance between center and the inner uh, surface is the internal radius. So there are two radii, not one radius. So that is why volume of the hollow sphere is 4 third pi r cube minus r cube because we said it is like 4 third pi r cube is the uh, big uh, that is a solid uh, sphere that is 4 third pi r cube. Out of that we need to scoop out a small uh, uh, solid uh, cylinder which the radius of small, uh, small r that is scoop out means take out that is minus negative. So 4 third pi r cube out of that cylinder out of that uh, sphere take out a uh, solid sphere that is with a radius of small r. So that 4 third pi r cube minus 4 third pi small r cube then take 4 third pi common and then we have r cube minus r cube. So that is why the volume of a solid hollow sphere is equal to 4 third pi capital R cube minus small r cube. Again it will have two surfaces. Solid sphere has only one surface that is external surface but it has two surfaces. One is internal surface area again that is 4 pi small r square because internal surface is also like a spheric sphere. So but with the radius of small r. So it is a small uh, r square. So 4 pi small r square is internal surface area. External surface area will be 4 pi r square. If we have to calculate total surface area, we need to add both of them that is equal to 4 pi r square small r square plus capital R square that is hollow sphere. 
hemisphere what is hemisphere hemisphere is take full solid sphere and then cut cut to the cut it half uh, that is a uh, hollow sphere uh, that, that's a semi sphere or hemisphere what is the volume volume of the hemisphere is equal to half of the total volume of the sphere because hemisphere is nothing but half part of it so it is half half of the 4/3 pi r cube half of the 4/3 pi r cube is 2/3 pi r cube curved surface area because it has two surfaces now one is curved surface another one is base base area so that means curved surface area is one area base area is another area so there are two surfaces what is the curved surface area curved surface area is also half of the total surface area of a solid sphere total surface area of a solid sphere is equal to 4 pi r square half of it is equal to 2 pi r square base area is base is in the form of a circle so base area is equal to pi r square the total surface area is equal to 2 pi r square plus pi r square that is equal to 3 pi r square so if we know all these three geometrical shapes we know practically everything about the hemisphere in the next video we will see about another geometrical figure